the Lord has blessed us in His Word. Amen. And can you approach your sickness or your, the person next to you? We are blessed in Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me see them. God's will for us is to be blessed. David said, I have been young and I now and I I am old, but I never seen the righteous forsaken, neither their seed. Pati bang anak, okay? Neither their seeds, amen, begging for bread. So it means, amen, the provision of God is for them, amen, that doing the will of the Lord. For the righteous. Amen. For those, amen, serving God faithfully. Praise the Lord. Now the question is, are you broke? Sino ba lang pera dito? Are you broke? No. Do you have a financial difficulties? Are you in debt? Di ba ang utang ba kayo? Yes. Praise God. But I want to tell you this. It's not to me. <laughs> there is still a remedy. Amen. We can still have our financial breakthrough. Praise God. Because God is able to, to supply all our needs according to His riches and glory. And in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. Amen. It says, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. It is not God's will that his people will suffer with poverty. Because God is rich. He can supply all our needs. The Bible said, the silver is mine. Amen. The, the gold is mine, declares the Lord. In Haggai chapter 2 verse 8, it says, The silver is mine and the gold is mine, declares the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. And in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, His plans for us is to prosper. Amen. Praise the Lord. Not to, not to, uh, to harm you, a plan to give you hope and a future. That is the plan of God for us. To be to prosper, amen, and not to harm us. But of course, we need to do something. Praise God. You know, before God created the created the man or the, uh, Adam and Eve, amen. He already prepared everything that they needed. Before they create, before he curated man, praise God, in Garden of Eden, praise God, he prepared everything, yeah. everything that they needed, praise God. But because of sin, all right, yeah. but because of sin, it's like a disappear. They were they were kicked out. Amen. From this garden of Eden that everything is provided. Because of sin. So man needs to work very hard. Amen. So that he can sustain his needs. Praise the Lord. God can bless us. Amen. God said, I will bless all the works of your hands. Meaning, we have read that, praise God, in uh, Deuteronomy. Praise God, I will bless the work of your hands. So meaning, you have to work. Yes. Something must to be done. Because God said to, the, to Adam, you need to till Amen. the land. So, so that you can have your food. So they need to work. But in Garden of Eden, you just pick up. Pick up the fruits and eat. They just live. Amen. And then eat. They enjoy the blessings.
blessing of God. They enjoy the presence of the Lord. But when this sin came into this life, into this uh, to the life of this man, praise God, they need to work. So we are part, amen, of this curse because they are outside, amen, of this uh, blessing of the Lord's sins, amen, came into the life of man. So we need to work. We need to have our job. Praise God. But here comes the blessing. If we have Jesus, God will bless the works of our hands. Praise the Lord. God will bless our job. God will bless everything that we do. Because God said, I will bless the work of your hands. Joy in Jesus. Amen. amen. If we have Jesus, amen. You can feel the joy in serving Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will provide everything. God is our blesser. Do not leave God. Because once you leave God, once you leave your service to God, amen. Curse is waiting for you. Praise God. So one thing. Amen. But before that, it says here. Amen. God don't bless the lazy people. That's why in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 to 11, God said, go to the ants. See? Go to the ants. Praise God. Hallelujah. You is lovers. Consider its way and be wise. It, it has no commander, no overseer or ruler. Yet, it stores its provision in summer and gathers it food and harvest. Proverbs 6, 6 to 11. Amen. And in verse 9 it says, How long will you lie? Uh, how long will you lie there, you slumber? When will you get up from sleep? A legal sleep, a legal slumber, a legal folding of the hands to rest. In verse 11, and poverty will come on you. Like a bandit and scarcity like an armed man. Praise God. Those who are slumber, those who are lazy, Amen. You cannot have the blessing of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we need to work. Praise God. And the good thing is here. Amen. The ants, why is their summer? Praise God. They gather, amen, their foods, amen, for the winter. Yeah. For the rainy days. Yeah. Praise the Lord. They don't have commander, they don't have rulers, they don't want someone, amen, to command them, but they themselves, amen, knew what to do. Yeah. In the daytime or in the summertime, I have to gather my food. Yeah. Praise God, they are not like a one-day millionaire. Yeah. They have so much blessing, and then by this, by that, I am millionaire. Tomorrow, you are in poverty. It's the Lord. So be wise like an ant. God said, hallelujah. So number one for our financial breakthrough and this financial literacy, amen, we need to uh, go first in the, in the spiritual. Praise God. Number one, first, obey God. The number one key is to obey the Lord. Obey His words. Yes. Praise God. We always say, do not be a listener only, but a doer of the word of God. Yes. Amen. Do not just memorize it. Amen. Yes. You have to apply it. Amen. In your life. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. You have the word of God. Amen. You have the direction of the Lord. Amen. Don't just keep it in your heart. Amen. Apply it. Do it. Is that everything that we have heard, everything that we learn, amen, in this um, uh, conference, amen, have
of your breakthrough. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Live full. Amen. Not F O O L. F U L L. Okay? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But it's good to be full in Jesus. To be crazy in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. There's the question. I am full. I am crazy in Jesus. To whom are you crazy of? Kanino kayo na bang baliw? Praise the Lord. In Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28 verses 1. Amen. And the 14. But maybe we will not read it all because we didn't have, we didn't have enough time. Praise God. But one thing I want to read it to you. In verse 1, it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently, hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I commanded this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Amen. If we hearken diligently, amen, and observe, amen, to do all his commandments, amen, the Lord will set us high, amen, among the nations. It means God will bless you. God will set you on high above all nations of the earth. And all this blessing shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Many blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. Just imagine that. The blessing of God will overtake thee. It's not that when he, he, the blessing overtake you and leave you. No. The blessing will Wait for you. Praise God. It seems God, amen, here, and you are walking and here's the blessing waiting for you. Hey, I am here, get me. Praise the Lord. The blessing of God, amen, we will not be chaser, amen, after blessing. The blessing will chase us. Praise the Lord. The blessing will find
glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And you know, in verse 12, or verse, uh, uh, I want to read it. I just, I just jump eight um, verses. Praise God. In verse 10, praise God. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. People will see that God is with you and will fight for you. Your enemy, praise the Lord, and the Lord shall make thee, again in oh, verse 11, and the Lord will, uh, shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruits of thy cattle. They have livestock, uh, like, livestock, Amen. Mga hayop, mga pigiri. Amen. Poetry. Amen. Mga bakahan, kambingan. Amen. Babuyan. Pigiri. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God will bless you. And the fruit of thy ground, your crops, amen, in the land, which the Lord's way unto thy fathers to give thee. You will be blessed in goods, thy cattle, in the fruits, and the fruits of thy grounds. Verse 12. Here's one of our verse. The Lord shall open, say it open, open. unto thee his good treasure. Wow. My father is rich in houses and land. In the Lord, hallelujah. God will open his treasure for us. upon blessing. Hallelujah and bless the work of thy hands. Praise God. Even when you are uh, washing the dishes. Amen. And you have the spirit of worship. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. And your employer will be blessed with you. Praise God. He will bless the work of your hand like, like Joseph. Praise God. God said, I will bless the work of your hands. Whatever Joseph do, amen, in his hands, God bless him. Praise God. He is in the prison. God bless them. In them. Amen. He is in uh, Potiphar's uh, house. The Lord bless him. Yes. Amen. God set him on high. Naging pangalawa siya mga kapatid. Amen. Uh, uh, Potiphar make him uh, the overseer of all his house. Except his wife. Okay? Except his wife. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. And then he was been uh, in prison. Amen. And God, amen, make him an overseer there in the in prison. God bless him. Yes. Amen. So church, amen, we are destined to be blessed. Yes. If we have Jesus and following his word. Praise God. In 13, you will not be the tail, but you will be the head. The Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. God will make you the supervisor, manager, and the God will promote you. Amen. You will be the leader and not follower. Amen. Praise God. God will put us on high. Amen. And I know I believe Amen. You like this, you, if you, you will go back in verse 12. You like this, you become a lender and not a borrower. Praise God. It's good to be a lender. Amen. But there are some 
People that I don't want to be a lender because they don't want to pay back. <laughs> be careful. I will tell you about your words. <laughs> pay your debts, okay? <laughs> before the Lord comes. <laughs> Praise God. I always remember uh, here, Pastor Librado. It's already 2023. Amen. Forget all these doctors. Amen. Ibigay nila sa kanila. Sabi ng mga lender, huwag naman, Pastor. <laughs> Pastor, no. They lent me so much money and I work hard for it. Amen. And the borrowers said, yes, yes. Where's your conscience? <laughs> Praise God. I tell you about your words. If you don't pay, amen, you are limiting your space. You cannot borrow anymore if you don't pay. So better pay your debt, okay? Praise the Lord. Maybe if the lender, they cannot do anything. Praise God, if you don't want to pay, praise God, but you have mark already. <laughs> Amen. I will remember you. <laughs> you cannot borrow anymore from me. You are limiting your space if you don't know how to pay. Praise God. But lender, amen, if they will not pay you, praise God, let God pay you back. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's come and hands to God. To the word of God. Because when we are disobedient to the word of God, look at Haggai chapter 1, verse 6 says. Amen. In Haggai chapter 1, verse 6, it says, You have planted much, but harvested little. You eat, but never have you feel. Haggai chapter 1 verse 6. You put on cloth, but you are not warm. Let us read it. Praise God. You have so much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye cloth, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages, and put it into a bag with a horse. It's useless. Praise God. If we will become disobedient to the word of God. Praise God. Yes, you planted so much. But you reap little. You eat so much. But there's no. Full enough, you will be not, you will not be full. Amen. You drink, but you will not be satisfied. Amen. You have your clothing, but you still feel cold. You will not be warm. Amen. And then you keep on working, working, earning money, earning money. And then you have part-time here, part part-time there. Python everywhere, praise God, nothing. It's like you are putting it in a bag with a hole. Praise God. And that if you are obedient to God, blessing after blessing, blessing after blessing, and God can make you rich. Amen. Hallelujah. And no other sorrow with it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you better be the obedience to God if you want to be rich. Okay? Number two, praise God. The question is, I am faithfully serving the Lord. I am obediently observing the word of God. Very good. Praise God. But number two is, be a good steward or manager of your blessing or finances. 
Because if you will be a one day, one day millionaire, the blessing after blessing, but if you don't know how to manage your blessing, you will still come into poverty. Because you are not a good steward. You are not a good manager of your blessing. Praise God. God is faithful. Praise God. The word, the word of God says, Amen. If you, um, what do you call it in Matthew 6, 33? If you seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, there is end, okay? There is end. If you seek the word of God, Seek God first and His righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. All your needs will be provided. All these things will be added unto you. Praise God. So, that is God's blessing. Praise God. But if you are not a good manager, you cannot blame God. You cannot tell God, Lord, where is my blessing? God provided it already. God has given it to you already, but you lose it. Yeah. 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 Do you understand? Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You will be, it says that you will be benefited if you know how to spend and budget your money. Even if you have so much money, I'm telling telling you, or high salary, if you don't have how to use it and budget it, it will come to nothing and eventually you will still have shortages in finances. shortages. We cannot spend beyond our salary. Praise the Lord. Do not spoil your, your family. I remember someone, praise God, hallelujah, he has this all, uh, this salary, and he will just pay 150 for her needs. And everything, amen, is remitted to her family. What? How about you? You are working hard here, and then your family and then have this extravagant life. Praise God and you will just eat noodles. Cup noodles pa. Sardinas. Praise God. Magpitiis ka doon. Praise God and your family have their happy life. Every month they have their they have their um, money coming. Praise the Lord. And then after that they will call you again. It's not enough. After one week, we need more money. You only left 150 and here comes again calling you for more and more and more. Do not spoil them. Tell to them your real situation, okay? You have only one month salary. It's not everyday salary. It's not a weekly salary, okay? Only once in a month salary. Praise God. So you need to budget it. You need to tell them, I have only this money. Amen. You spend it. Okay, wisely. If you finish that in a month, good, I will send another one. But if you finish it in one day or in one week, sorry, I don't have enough more to send it again. Tell them the truth. They have their jollity and you have your noodles, cup noodles. <laughs> everyday couscous, everyday cleaning. And then, and you have your employer, so... Um. <laughs> Praise the Lord! Am I making a sense? Am I going to stop our hands to On the road of our journey, amen, with God, you will pass through the road of plenty and the road of droughts. There will be time of plenty and there will be a time, amen, of drought or famine. You will pass through that road. Praise God. Like in the days of Joseph, 
Amen. God soaks you through um Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Amen. What is going to happen? Praise God. They will have the seven years of plenty and seven years of famine. Praise God. And God gave or gave Joseph a wise plan. What is the plan? Praise God. In every time of plenty, save one fifth or twenty percent of it. One fifth. One fifth. Okay? One fifth when the like a percent is twenty percent. Okay? Praise God. One fifth of their plenty. Praise God. They store it. Why? For the time of the famine. Amen. They can help this stored food. So what a wise plan. Praise the Lord. So the same thing with us. You are on the time of plenty today. You have your salary. How much is your salary with the to pass on? Maybe 30,000? Or more? More or less 30,000. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you need to save some. Praise God. Bakit di ka kayong nagawin ko? The wisdom that the Lord has given to Joseph is one thing should be kept into the storehouse on the time of plenty. So when the time of famine, they just enjoying themselves and in their lives with their benefits. No charge, ladies. Amen. I'm telling you, you have your salary. Amen. So, in Ecclesiastes 11, verse 2, it says, Give a serving to the seven and also to eight. For you do not know what evil will do on the earth. We don't know what is going to happen next or tomorrow. We don't hold the future. Okay, maybe you have your your uh, good employer today, but who knows tomorrow the very terminated na pala kayo. We don't know. Yeah. Amen. So you cannot, amen, use your passport and give it to others for borrowing money. It's done. And then one day you you will be the one to pay for it. Yes. Do not be a referral. <laughs> Praise God and use your name even for them to borrow money. We always telling you that. Praise God. Don't come to to, to, to our pastor. Pastor, somebody lent my passport. Use my money. Is the pastor's fault? We always teach you that. Pastor, yes. 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 sister, and sister, do this, do this, do that. Church, right. we always remind you this. Yes. Don't give your 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 name or your passport or your documents, amen, to others, amen, to be used for your for them to borrow money. Yes. Yes. Now, if they don't. Involve the church. Praise God, and they will tell me, I will not attend anymore in the church because <laughs> church. Church. That's why we are having this seminar. To remind once again everyone be wise. Okay? Be wise. Praise the Lord. <laughs> we always say if you want to lend money, amen. So lend the amount that maybe you can give it to them. If they don't pay you, it's okay. Praise God. But it's a thousand and thousands. Praise the Lord. And then they will not pay you. Amen. This will be the cost 
of not going to church anymore. It will become a stumbling block for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, let's go back to the lesson. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give a serving to the seven and also to the eight. Amen. For you do not know what will be on the, will be done on, on the earth. Praise God. Divide your salary. Yeah. Praise God. I'm always telling you this. If you have your salary, you can have your piggy bank or have your uh, red envelope. Praise God. Tell you, this is for my family. Oh, first of all, for God. Amen. For my family. For my savings. For my expenses, my bills. Amen. For my McDonald's. And for my fair. Ilan yun? Praise God. Huwag yung isend lahat tapos wala nang matitira sa inyo. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wala ka nang pagmakdo. Wala ka bang pagmasahe. Praise God. Lahat tayo nagsusweldo dito. Everyone has a salary. You will not be left to other sister. Sister, I don't have my fare. For my, uh, I don't have money for my fare. Hey, nagsusweldo mo lang. Sister, sorry, I cannot go to church. I don't have money. May sweldo ka. I don't have, um, Money for my food. Sabi na, we are so generous, you know. <laughs> it's okay, sis. Just come here. I will give you money. Okay, hindi ba kita sa makdo? Hindi ka na pamasahe. Not every time is like that. Maybe once, twice, thrice can be. And then in one month, four times. Praise God can be. But every day, Every shirt, every day, all like that. Hey, wake up! Sorry. God's not, God's will is not that. Amen? God's will is, God will bless us. It's for us to be blessed. Amen? Not in poverty. Always depending on others. Because we have the same God. Amen. That bless us. Okay? It's a little bit of a matter of a thing. Amen. That in a living Quran. If she can bless you, God can bless her, God can also bless you. It's God. Hallelujah. We are serving the same God. So be wise. Amen. Saving is not when someone has uh, something is uh, left over from your salary. Saving should be included in your budget. Yes. Okay, so, hindi yung kung mayroong natira. Ang savings, amen, should be included in your budgeting. The question is, <laughs> I don't have nothing left. Praise God. Now, I'm telling you, God can bless you, okay? If you don't have anything left, praise God, and if someone will bless you, remember this, if someone will bless you, keep it. Huwag kang mag-anak ka agad ng pangbili ng damit. And go to the mongo for the $10. If someone has blessed you and God bless you, because He can bless everyone, He can use everyone. Amen. If you don't have anything left from your salary, I believe God can bless you. Anyways, He can provide. Praise God. You don't need to. Amen. And if that someone, Amen, gave something from you, praise God, or maybe He gave you twenty dollars, He gave you, she gave you a ten dollars. $20, $100, because God speak to her, is amen, to give you some. 
keep it for a while. Hallelujah. Don't use it. Yes. Okay? Be like a Chinese people. Okay? Yeah. 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 You know? Praise God. There is a, there, there is a uh, story like this. If you give 500 to a Chinese man, he will find a frying pan. Frying pan. Amen. And um, something to cook. Like, let's say, a uh, banana and make it a barbecue. Yeah. He will make business for it. Yeah. But something, amen, if they give 500 to a Filipino, <laughs> they go to the wall. <laughs> for Chinese, you know. They are business minded. Yes. Praise the Lord. So if someone has blessed you, give it for a while. And so maybe you can find something for business. In 100, why not? 100 Hong Kong dollar? Why not go to Hong Kong and buy ten dollar skirt? Or five dollar skirt? Amen? The ukay ukay why not? Because they are beautiful. I can buy them. Most of my clothes came from there. <laughs> Praise God. We go there. Amen. And then you can ask them, sell it for $20. Yeah. So you want to have them become double. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You can cook something from that 100. Praise God. Cook, cook food. And then ask someone, uh, do you have your lunch? No, I don't have lunch. Don't go to McDonald's. I have a prepared lunch here. Yes, and then it becomes double, double. Amen. The, the God, God said, I will bless the work of your hands. So let's jump. Praise God. Are you making a sense? Siguro mga kapatid, bukas mga business minded na kayo. Praise the Lord. Praise God. We will not be forever helper. Amen. Praise God. One day you will become the employer. Praise the Lord. Now employee. Next time, employer. restaurant. God will bless the work of our hands. If we will obey the Lord, okay? Praise God. Don't forget God if you are blessed. Praise God. Don't keep your uh, do we have any, any, any visitors here? No one. So everyone knows the tithes and offerings. If you don't do your tithes and offerings, don't expect blessing, okay? But if you do your tithes and offerings, blessing after blessing. Blessing after blessing. Praise the Lord. Why people get into poverty, but they have their salary? Because they forgot that. Praise God. Like in Haggai chapter 1, verse 6. Praise the Lord. Hindi na sila, they haven't came from this death because they don't pay their tithes and offerings. They keep on working, 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 working. Praise God. But church, if you are a tither, amen, giver, praise the Lord, expect for more. Because God is our blessing. Praise the Lord. Invest. Mag invest po tayo. Praise the Lord. Invest means, praise God, put your money into financial schemes, shares,
property or a commercial ventures with expectation of, achieve, uh, of achieving a profit. Praise God. But in the style, let your money work for you. Wow. One day we will just receive money. Praise God. Like when you are in, in senior seniority. Praise the Lord. In the Philippines, in Philippines, when you are senior and you, you have your SSS, you have pension. Wow. Every month you are receiving money. You don't work. Okay? You don't work, but you are receiving money. Yes. Your money is working for you. Yes. Wow. Magigigdon na ka na. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Continue. If you don't, do you have, if you have SSS? Yes. Yung walang SSS. Yes. Mag-apply na kayo ng SS no. Praise God. This for this good for us. Is that if you don't have your SSS, Amen. Magkano lang po yan, mga kapatid. One day you will be benefited of this. Amen. You have your burial. You have your uh, maternity. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Seek to live. Praise God. You can borrow money from there. Praise God. Amen. And when you are, you, you reach 65, 60, or 65, amen, you will enjoy your benefits. Every month, you will receive money. Amen. Even you will not work, you will receive money. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then, still help. Yung mga simple lang yan, di ba? Alam naman, alam naman natin yan. Hindi tayo ignorant dyan. Praise God. Hallelujah. And one thing. Praise God. You can buy stocks. Like, uh, what was it, Jollibee or SM? Mga legit po yan. Amen. Don't find, amen, uh, what is pyramidy? And give it your money there. Praise God. And then we'll tell you after three days, it doubled your money. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just coming to you with love. Praise God. We are talking about, uh, we were talking with the uh, after uh, Leah, praise God, yung sabi nila, uh, they are one of the big thing of Kappa. Yeah. Kappa, and there's another one, and there's another one. Because they said, amen, after a man, your money will become triple. <laughs> after this day, your money will become double and double. Praise God. At first, maybe. Yeah. Praise God. But you need to recruit. Praise God. Kawawa yung kule. Praise God. You're just getting their money. I am discouraging you with that. Praise God. Do not, amen, gamble your money with that. Do not give your money with that. Praise God. Find something that is legit. Buy stuff that is legit. Praise God. Like, um, I'm telling you the obvious thing. Charlie or SM. I'm telling you this, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> but, you know, we, we have learned. I know that we have learned this, my brothers. Praise God. So, it means that your money will work for you. You will just receive money. Okay, you will buy stocks. Praise God. Palakakad mo natin. Now, sorry, I'm not going to Praise God. I have only five minutes, okay? While you are working here, make a vision, make a plan. I tell you, you said, uh, I in debt, I don't have any more. Praise God. But I already tell you the solution, okay? If someone is dead, you keep it. Save it. Budget your money. Praise God. After you have paid your debt, huwag ka na mag-isip ang mag <laughs> You already overcome it already, okay? You already overcome it, paying your debt, and then don't take another borrowing. Praise God. If you want to buy house, land, wait. They can wait, okay? They can wait. Save first. 
you are in, in your debt you are paying like uh, maybe 3,000 4,000 a month am I right in a month because your your debt and your loans is so very high maybe so that's why you pay 4,000 3,000 praise God amen now after overcoming it after paying it back praise the Lord wait 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 if you have project if you want to buy house if you want to buy properties wait okay this three thousand or four thousand save it after three months you have twelve thousand almost one hundred thousand am i right four thousand Four thousand times three is twelve. Yes. It's God. So you have your twelve thousand. Amen. Then you can plan it for this twelve thousand Hong Kong dollar. You can buy tricycle. You can buy motor. You can buy tricycle for you know uh, for pasada. It's God. Then comes money. It comes your money. The money will come to you. Praise the Lord. Or if you want, I want a house, I want a land, it, it costs 300,000 for 300 square meter. Wait. Don't go to the uh, don't go to the bank. Just wait. Save. Save. It's good if it is cast because there's discount. Praise the Lord. Just wait, wait, wait. So I'm telling you, if 3,000 Praise God. After 10 months, you have 30,000. 30,000 times 7, 21, 210,000. You can buy land. See? It will not wait until one year. But if you will borrow, Interest and the infant interest, and then you cannot pay another interest. Pano buk tayo sa utang? Hindi tayo pala. Praise God. And then there's some emergency. Another needs, another needs. You don't have money. Another bank again. Another bank again. So better way. Say it. I will wait. For investment, wait. Okay? Don't be in hurry. In that same phrase, is that if you have only 100 Hong Kong dollars that you can save in a month, amen, in one year, you have 1,200. Yes. So, ilagay mo yun. Huwag mong gagalawin yan. Patulungin mo yan. Praise God. After two years, yes. and you have 2,400. Praise God. Yes. So from this, you cannot tell to yourself, I don't have money. Yes. You have already money. Praise the Lord. Hindi ka na maghahanap sis pa utang. No. If you have a need, okay, listen to this. If you have already saved some, amen, and you have a need, don't go to other person and borrow. You can borrow from your money. Yes. But please, pay it back. Yes. That's your money. Yes. Pay it back. Pero hindi naman nagagalaw yung pera niyo. Yes. Even nag-i-increase siya. Why did I do I tell, tell you this? Experience. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If someone gave you 100, jump ka muna. Stay there. If someone gave you 20 dollars, okay. Jump ka muna. Praise God and thank God. Amen. Through the blessing of the Lord, Katrina already a teacher. If we have a need, praise God. Pabaroa. But somebody bless me, I 
I pay it back. So I didn't disturb anyone. Praise God. I didn't use your name. I didn't disturb anyone. Praise God. I only tell God, Lord! Lord! Praise God. But withdraw happy Lord. Praise God. Palakakan natin ng mga
I don't have work. I am a breadwinner. See? Do you wait until you got sick before you save money? Do you wait, amen, until amen, you are you are not fitted to work, amen, before enjoying the blessing of the Lord? Better wake up, church. Amen. Wag yung payagan. Is God na uuwi kayo? Praise God. And then, amen, suffer in this pain because you don't have your money and then, then your family will not take care of you. That's right. Praise God. Can we all stand? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Church to be blessed and enjoy the blessing of God. There is joy in Jesus. That is true. It's God. But sometimes you and you do you don't enjoy the blessing of God because of the sufferings. Because you are longing for more. We are you are asking God. You are crying to God. Amen. Lord, where is your blessing? Lord, I'm longing for this. Lord, I'm longing for this. God can bless us through. Yes. But be wise. Be wise. Be a faithful steward. And one thing more, church. It is not God's will. But when you lend money, you put in the rest of it. You are putting our sisters, amen, down, amen, to their finances. You are not helping them. Praise God. Hallelujah. We need to enjoy God's blessing. Satan don't want us to enjoy this blessing. Satan wants us, amen, to be destroyed and become in poverty, longing for more, longing for more. Praise God, hallelujah, looking after the blessing, running after the blessing. That is the plan of the enemy. That is the trap of the enemy for us. But God's plan for us is to prosper us. And to bless us. Amen. Hallelujah. So I am telling you this. Come to God. If you are in debt today, God can help you. God can bless you. Hallelujah. Just go to God and say, Lord, here I am. I am surrendering everything to you. My life, my strength, even my finances. Help me to become obedient to God, to your words. Help me to become wise. You're going to be 